Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. hope everyone's okay. It's a lot cooler now here in the UK, so I think a lot of us are um, appreciative of that. It's a bit more comfortable for us now. Right, I've just come on very quickly to show you a few projects that uh, I've been doing just lately. Um, first of all, this blanket. Um, if you follow me, you'll know a, a few weeks ago, I, um, I sent a, a package, I think I sent, was it 11? Possibly. Um, to the Premies UK charity for the premature babies. And so this is the first now of uh, the new batch. Um, now this wool, I think it was from B&M pretty sure it was. I know the pound shop has some nice walls and Wilco's have some. I think this was some B&M. But anyway, it's um, it's very nice. It's all shaded. And... So there we are. That's that. Um, I'll just move that out of the way. Now, I've been making these prompt cards. Um, I think they're quite good for um, if you lose your mojo, not sure what to do, um, and for mixed media projects. So they're just um, ATC size. I think they're ATC size. I'll just get my... Uh, where are we? Uh, no, they're a bit bigger, because that measured four. So they're four by... Oh, they're four by three. Yes, I thought they looked a bit bigger, actually. Than, uh... So anyway, they're just um, a card covered on both sides. It's a good stash buster, this is, actually. Um, and then different ideas put on them. There again, good stash buster, the whole thing is. So I won't show you them all because as you can see there's quite a few. Lots and lots of different things to do. So Maybe that will give uh, somebody a bit of inspiration as to what to make, to give them some inspiration, if you like. So those are those. There's quite a few of those, but uh, they're very good stash busters. You can use all the bits and pieces of paper on those. I don't know how many there are. It's quite a lot. So that's that. Now, I was having to sort out... Um, I've been having a lot of sort outs just lately. I thought I've got to get rid of all sorts of stuff. House is just full of, well, stuff. And um, see if I can lay that a bit flatter. It has been in a drawer. Now, I forgot about this. I completely forgot. I do remember now. I had um, it's a magazine with um, a little booklet in. And the chart for this um, was in it. And, I mean, I haven't seen this for a while. As I say, it's been in a drawer. I'm going to have to flatten it out. But it's very pretty. It's got this lovely board around it. Um, this was good for using at bits and pieces of thread that we all us cross-stitchers get. I mean, I've got loads of bits and pieces left over. But... I thought, why on earth was that in a drawer? It should be framed and hung up. Because I think it's very pretty, I do myself. Some daffodils and pansies and it says happy. So I'm going to get a frame for it. I'm not going to put it back in the drawer. I'm going to iron it and sort it out a bit. And uh, I'm going to get a frame for it. 
So I hope you like that. I hope you like the other couple of projects that I've shown you as well. Uh, if you do, please give me a like and subscribe. I make all sorts of videos. I do all sorts of crafts. So um, if you're interested, um, click subscribe and click the bell at the side so that you'll get notifications when I put on a new uh, video. So that's it for now. Um, I'll be back soon with uh, with another video. So watch out for that, folks. And um, that's it. So bye bye for now, everyone. Take care. Bye.